Hello and welcome, my name's Haas and this is a Dawngate Basics Guide. This particular guide will be all about the very basics of the Dawngate role system. What exactly is the role system? At its core, the role system is very simple. Upon entering a game and selecting your shaper, you will select one of four roles to indicate what you prefer to play. These roles change the way you play early on in the game, optimizing it to your preferred playstyle and changing the way you earn Vim, the currency required to purchase items. After the shapers are actually chosen, you can still switch your role if you notice your team may have too many of one specific role before you lock this in. Now, there are four roles in Dawngate. The first role is called the Gladiator. The philosophy behind the Gladiator is all about murdering those pesky lane minions from the enemy team that run mindlessly into your bindings. Or more specifically, making sure you get the last hit in as they fall to the ground. The Gladiator is more of a passive gameplay role. Your goal is to take one of the two lanes and farm as many minions as you can carefully finishing them with a well-placed last hit, which then grants you a stacking Vim bonus, gaining more and more Vim as you last hit in quick succession. The most likely shapers to benefit from this role are the carries in Dawngate, sacrificing early game strength for late game dominance, such as Nyssa or Mikella, which also means that pairing up two gladiators in the lane tends to be a bad idea, as neither of you will be incredibly potent early on and you will be contesting for last hits. So, as cool as that red tiger might be, think about your lane composition. Another important thing to note is how you are going about your last hitting. It might be tempting to punish those foolish lane minions with a big area of effect nuke, or you might say simply auto attacking is the way to go, but this is generally a bad idea. Last hitting is all about the ebb and flow of a lane, waiting until a minion drops to low health and then doing exactly enough damage to finish him off. If you are not proficient in doing this, it's worth practicing this in a custom game beforehand. The reasons why you should keep a lane balanced is situational, but if you utterly destroy the enemy minion waves, your minions will be pushing towards their lane, meaning the enemy is guaranteed to get that experience underneath their safe binding. And more importantly, this means you are likely to overextend and become a tasty snack for any enemy shapers on the prowl. An enemy has been slain. Secondly, a good friend of the gladiator is the tactician role. The tactician is likely to fill the standard archetype of support during laning and is more of an aggressive role. Shapers such as Dibs or Zeri make for some good tacticians and their laning role mostly consists of harassing the enemy shapers and being as annoying as possible, while trying to contest territory control. Tacticians gain bonus vim for being near enemy lane minions when they die, and this then frees up farm for, let's say the gladiator, in the lane, as you do not have to focus as much on last hitting. In fact, it is often better to not last hit at all depending on your lane composition. This allows them to keep up on vim while not focusing on killing any lane minions. Instead, a tactician should focus on the enemy shapers within a lane, because tacticians additionally get bonus vim for damaging an enemy shaper, with a cooldown well suited for quick ability harassment. Hanging around the lane, waiting for the enemy gladiator to try and last hit is a great opportunity to fling an ability in his direction, significantly lowering his health pool as they are unlikely to retaliate in time. Do mind the cooldown on the tactician bonus though, but for the most part your goal as a tactician is supporting your lane partner and hindering the enemy shapers in a lane. Thirdly, there is the hunter. The hunter is a non-laning role, instead a hunter fills up the classic jungler role and will spend most, if not all his early game time, hidden, hopefully safely away, in the jungle. Volok or say Moya are two typical hunter shapers. This role is for players who want to earn most, if not all of their vim and experience from killing the poor, innocent, neutral jungle monster camps instead of the mean and ugly lane minions. The benefits of a hunter are oriented around doing exactly that and allow you to stay in a jungle for far longer than any non-hunter would, while getting much more out of it. The way you go about your jungling is quite flexible in Dawngate and I will go over the jungle in another guide, but for now, a common spell hunters will pick is Vanquish, allowing you to jungle even faster and safer. 
The reason for picking this role is that this way your team will overall gain more experience in Vim, as there will be one less Shaper in the lane. Additionally, if you successfully jungle, you can capture a lot of important buffs, potentially the enemy spirit wells, and can set up easy gank attempts, allowing you to kill the enemy laning shapers in most commonly a 3 vs 2 situation. You have slain an enemy. The fourth and final role is the Predator. The Predator is the most aggressive and most flexible of the roles, ranging from shapers such as Cerulean to, say, Kindra. A Predator might act as a part-time jungler who orients on ganking enemies, or might instead focus on playing aggressively during the laning phase. Either way, Predators gain bonus Vim and experience when they kill or assist with a kill on an enemy Shaper. They gain neither a bonus to lane minion kills nor jungle minion kills, and are mostly reliant on roaming around the map slaying the puny enemy Shapers. With that being said, they do gain an additional bonus for killing the spirit well workers, allowing them to gain just that much more vim out of harassing the economy of the enemy team. As such, the predator is the most flexible, but also the most risky of the roles you can pick, requiring the most team coordination to fully gain the predator benefits. And with that, you should now know all the basics about the role system in Dawngate. So, go out there and own some noobs or something like that. My name is Ben Haas, this has been a Dawngate Basics Guide for the Roll System, and I'll see you in the next video.